the first uh, i will tell about the inbound process okay. inbound process so i will keep mainly focus on the when it comes to inbound let me focus on the quick purchase order okay so with purchase order when we are using warehouse management i recommend to use these following steps okay that is purchase order it may have releasing and all that we don't have to highlight here purchase order then inbound delivery transfer order technician inbound delivery confirm transfer order confirm transfer order then post post receipt so these are the inbound uh, external purchasing when you are creating uh, these kind of things can happen so the transactions wise uh, me21n and the inbound delivery you create with vl31n transfer order lt03 confirm transfer order lt12 post goods receipt vl32n okay can someone can answer that you created a purchase order for 100 quantity is it possible to create inbound delivery for 80 quantity is it possible to create partial quantity of inbound delivery or not you created a po for 100 pieces inbound delivery you wanted to create for 80 the vendor has sent only 80 pieces so you want to create for 80 pieces is it possible or not Are you listening my question? Is it possible to create inbound delivery for partial quantity or not? Okay. So you can create based on the what is the vendor quantity that you can uh, easily you can create for eighty quantity or fifty quantity based on the requirement. Okay. so here the tables wise uh, someone is asking that one pivo we have multiple tables okay so the tables ekko ekpo ekbe okay ekt there are multiple ekkn okay etc multiple tables are there the data will be stored and pivo uh inbound delivery also there are multiple but most popular is lkt and li ps item and header level mostly you can uh, get most of the data lt03 transfer order you will get ltak and ltap these tables will provide you the data to confirm transfer order again anyway that's a uh, transfer order only right just a field values will be updated so ltak and ltap post goods receipt ignition bound delivery so ignition bound delivery let's give that uh, specific uh, goods receipt anyway we have the tables right mkpf and msec okay so mkpf material document header and msec even you can use ekbe also where you can find the document okay even uh, ekbe also you can utilize it to to find the respect to purchase order related and all the okay. inbound delivery also you can even uh, use the uh, table we have only for inbound delivery also we have uh, a table ek star 
if you for example if you're not very clear about the table you can give the tk star and uh, you can give confirm see ek es table so ek es table is storing the information about the vendor confirmations vendor confirmation is part of inbound delivery so even you can get from the ek es table ek es table can provide you that one ekbe will provide you the data related to goods received and all screen is not visible let me use ms word to complete ms word uh, ppt Maybe we'll use the black screen and uh, white font. Maybe it will be useful. Let's use the blackboard and white uh, font. Okay, this is the way how you can uh, get the data and the respect to tables and all. So, yeah, this tables data everything we highlighted. So when you are dealing any kind of inbound process, we should be un understood that um, after we have posted the goods received, then only the storage location stock will be updated and the accounting entries will be posted. During these steps, there will not be any accounting entries, only the planning of uh, receiving and after that uh, keeping the stock in a bin and confirming all those steps are going to be happening. 